Hello, this is a, a quick update uh, on what we're doing right now. We just left uh, Sault Ste. Marie and are heading our way to Thunder Bay. But in the meantime, we have stopped over in Marathon for the night at this little beachside, uh, I don't know, beachside stop. Um, we've seen a few other campers in the parking lot, but we're not gonna be able to fit in that parking lot over there. So we pulled over to the side where I just shown you. We started off with a song and dance. I'm gonna play guitar and Lauren's gonna sing. Can you do some interpretive dancing? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not even gonna dance. I'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> play an instrument and Lauren's gonna sing. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Ready, babe? <laughs> You're great. Give <laughs> <laughs> me cookies and milk. <laughs> Hi, family and friends. Hope you guys are all doing well. I know we are doing pretty well, as you can see from our fancy new haircuts. Uh, today we went to town to Thunder Bay and uh, got some nice haircuts. Even Alex got a nice haircut too, he looks amazing. He looks all grown up. Yeah, yeah. done here. Yeah, it's been a beautiful campground. Uh, Lake Superior is also awesome too. Uh, we're right at the top of Lake Superior um, looking over, what's that island called? Sleeping Giant yeah. Island, I think. Um, it's an island that obviously kind of looks like a sleeping giant. Um, yeah, Alex and I have gone to the beach twice. Uh, first time was uh, pretty cold for uh, this Lake Superior. So we just went to our ankles, but today it was actually really, not really warm. It was warmer. <laughs> <laughs> and I was able to go to my knees and kind of sat in it a little and we had a nice play. We go in the mornings and the waves aren't too big and have a good time yeah, from shoveling the videos, dirt. <laughs> from the videos I saw, it looked pretty calm and uh, looked amazing as well. Yeah, it's really neat. It's a small little public beach. and. Uh, just a few people are there and it's a nice little spot for the morning. But the pool here. Oh yeah, back into the amazing. campground. 
It is so warm. Yeah, there's two pools, one for adults-ish, uh, has a minor deep end, and uh, another kid's pool. Um, and yeah, it seems like they're pumping out hot water out of those things. Even in the splash pad too, it seems relatively yeah. warm, uh, which the, is nice. The wind up here can get a little chilly, so yeah. I think you definitely need the hot water to, to be able to swim. Yeah, and from the sunny days we've had, it's it's been pretty windy. Um, yeah. So yeah, it can, it can cut you. <laughs> yeah, but it's made swimming so much fun. Alex has been a great swimmer. He's loving the water with his little floaty. He We can let go of him now. and. Yeah, he swims around in the water, not no problem, but he can keep his head up and uh, once in a blue moon he goes under, but uh, he gets back up and he's totally fine. We stay close to him. <laughs> yeah, we definitely stay close to him. He's still brand new to swimming. Um, he's brand new to jumping off the edge as well. He likes doing that. Uh, what, is, what is it that you guys call it? Humpty Dumpty? Oh, Humpty Dumpty, yeah. He'll fall in. Yeah. Or blast offs. Blast offs, yeah. A lot of water activities. We uh, started bringing some toys. Uh, we brought uh, a rubber ducky to the pool and then later brought a, a ball because Alex would prefer going to chase those and jump into the water than go to see us, I guess. <laughs> Just something to do. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was nice. Hey, my little swimmer. A little pond just um, across from us here in the morning so there's often frogs sitting on the on the rocks there so we try and catch frogs but we're not fast enough yeah and there's lots of kids fishing at that pond as well uh, they're catching little tiny what was he calling them rock bass i'm not a fish guy <laughs> i'm not sure uh, they were catching something out of there um, yeah not very big but yeah. the catch and release pond here yeah so that's fun that's pretty fun there's some other uh, amenities that this place has. It has a, a driving range if you're into golf. Um, you can go and whack some balls. It also has a uh, mini putt. Yeah, and, oh, uh, a pretty nice looking one. We yeah. haven't really done it. But. We haven't done the mini putt yet, but uh, it looks pretty nice. A playground uh, with a lot of tires. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely like from the 90s. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, then obviously the splash pad and pool. You're yeah. such a funny boy. We went on a few outings while we're here because the, there's many attractions around Thunder Bay. Uh, the first one that we went to was the Terry Fox uh, Memorial, which was just up the road and uh, was a great thing to do on a Sunday when it was kind of rainy and not much else was going on. Um, yeah, Alex liked it. It was pretty yeah, good. Yeah, it was a, a beautifully done monument for him with a nice lookout and beautifully done. Yeah, you can see uh, the Sleeping Giant Island from that place yeah. as well. We also went to an amethyst mine. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, Alex likes rocks. I missed most of the, the tour because Alex and I were just walking around looking at rocks. But yeah, he didn't want to listen to the guy talk, so I stayed and listened to the guy talk while you and Alex went and picked around at rocks. <laughs> we uh, bought some amethyst rocks as well. Um, we, we scavenged for them? Yeah, we scavenged for them. Yeah, picked our own rocks from the field. Uh, there was lots to choose from, lots of different sizes. Uh, some, what do they call them, garden-sized rocks? Yeah, you could buy for... Yeah, putting in your garden, they're big pieces of amethyst. Um, fun fact, amethyst is quartz. Just a, a different flavor. <laughs> That's a nice bucket you have. Did 
you guys have fun? Nice. Yay! So, uh, we noticed that our laundry that we keep here was getting wet for some reason. We weren't sure why. Uh, and the carpet here was wet as well. So we uh, thought that maybe, since the only water coming in here is for the washer and dryer, that is optional, that maybe there was an issue with this. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get behind here uh, to take a look to see if there was a crack in the pipe or if uh, anything burst. So I saw that there was a, an open panel here. Anyways, there's a red and blue wire uh, behind this access panel that goes up and feeds water to those outlets. And back there was all wet. So I thought that uh, maybe we can go into the basement and uh, try to turn off the uh, water from a valve down there. But there wasn't anything existing, so I came up with my own solution. So in the basement here, if you look up, and if I turn on a light, maybe you can see this better. But there's the red and blue um, hoses that lead up to those faucets. And yeah, so there was no water coming through here, which means it was just puddling in the bedroom. But the way that I fixed this was I put some valves further down the line. So I turned off the water, uh, released all the pressure from there, and installed these two valves, one for the cold and the hot. Since then, we haven't had any water issues there, and uh, yeah. Did you do a good job? Let's see. The wall's back together. Wow, bud. You're good at doing repairs. We'll keep you around. And then, yeah, future plans. Yeah, so after this, we're going to be going to Kenora, which is going to be, it says on the map, five hours and 20 minutes. So it'll probably take us six, seven hours. Um, and our ride after Kenora is into Manitoba, which should only take us three and a half hours. So maybe we could catch a place just before Kenora uh, to split up the ride a bit better. Yeah. Um, maybe we're, we're gonna work that out, but so that's relatively the, that out too. <laughs> yeah, that's relatively the uh, the plan. Um, and then we're gonna be staying with uh, at a campground uh, near Sean's friends. Oh yes, yeah. Once we get into Manitoba, we're gonna be going down to Altona. Um, and a friend who I met through my YouTube channel reached out and said he has a, a campground that he goes to often and he also does astrophotography, so that's pretty sweet. Um, we're going to meet up with him and his family and uh, hopefully everything goes well. Um, never met a YouTube person or a person from YouTube. I met a person from online once, this person right here. <laughs> oh, but uh, yeah, never on YouTube. <laughs>
You gonna get some more? Yeah. <laughs> 